going on YouTube? Happy New Year's and welcome back all you NFT junkies and all my fellow ninjas for another educational episode here. Today I just wanted to bring you guys uh, something that came to the attention of me and another community that I'm involved with. So I did a YouTube video a while back on a rug pull of the Mutant Human Club right here, this one. And I just noticed something that, you know, seemed kind of sketchy and kind of familiar to me. So I did a little research, uh, me and the community that I'm involved with, and some interesting findings that we came up with. So first off, again, you know, if you don't know, Mutant Humans Club kind of, you know, got rug pulled and the owners, the founders, the creators, um, kind of just disappeared off the face of the earth. Now, what we have going on here now is, uh, you know, something a little similar. So as you can see here, this is, you know, their webpage, Mutant Human Clubs, and just wanted to, you know, look at a new project here that looks very, very similar. Uh, same kind of web page layout here. Um, and as you can see, there's really no information on the project other than, uh, you know, Josh Isaac is the artist, okay? Isaac D. And that's going to come in here in just a second, I'll show you. Um, but again, you know, looks real similar to Mutant Human Club. So that's kind of what uh, caught my attention at first when I saw this thing on uh, Instagram. And, you know, that's that's what they're going to do. They're going to use Instagram and Twitter to kind of get the attention of the newcomers to the NFT space. So this is, you know, kind of a warning for everybody and everyone looking into the NF space, NFT space already involved in the space here. Um, you know, check this out. Let me know what you guys think. But here I'm just going to show you the CEO, co-founder of r &M Agency right here. CEO at r &M Agency. And then another person here, CEO at r &M Agency right here working together. Congrats. Best partners. And you'll go into r &M International LLC on Upwork and you can see it's based out of United Arab Emirates. And you can see, you know, the people that they've worked in in the past, the rankings that they gave. Uh, this one here is uh, Ken. He was the artist for Mutant Human Clubs. Obviously, gave them a very poor rating because, you know, pretty poor outcome, pretty poor management of the entire project. Go down to other jobs in progress here. Right here, job in progress from, who do you think? Isaac D. And out of Dubai, look at that, kind of sketchy, in my opinion. Not financial advice, but just bringing this to you here. So, yep, Isaac D, that is going to be the artist for this project, right? Okay, I already showed you the similarities in the websites. Now, something that seems a little bit confusing to me is their Twitter page. Um, you know, they've only got a link to their Discord and they've got 16,000 followers, which seems okay. But if you come down a little bit here, you'll see that, you know, they're bragging and boasting that they have 100,000 members in their Discord. Well, why don't you have any followers on your Twitter then? Red flag, along with the website red flag. So that's two red flags right off the bat. And just so you can see for comparison, a very well-known project here, Hate Beast, you can see, you know, 175,000 followers, right? They've got, you know, almost a half a million total members. So, you know, at least a, a strong majority of them are going to follow the Twitter page, at least if they're serious about the project or if they're even real people that are followers. So that's just, you know, another red flag there. And then we're going to dig into 
mutant human clubs a little bit and do some more research and find out, you know, the domain registration. Look at this information right here. Can't pronounce that stuff, but um, that's the street, that's the city and the state with the phone number there and can go to Lord Society and you can see it's the same information here. So the same people that maybe created the domain for mutant human clubs also creating the domain for Lord Society. And boy, does that make sense with you know what their web pages look like here? So you know another red flag, three red flags so far. Now let's go to here the roadmap. Lord Society's roadmap. Okay, you know, they have one, whatever, good for them. But if you take a little closer look, look at all, you know, the bold words, NFT staking, go over to Mutant Human Clubs, you know, it's literally a copy and paste. The only thing that they changed was instead of staking, they had a DAO and a mutant token here. So, you know, another red flag from a project that has been rug pulled right so again more information within their discord here why is there no information on the project's founders who are these people who's making the project they only have you know links to their website instagram and twitter which all kind of seem to be fake so that's just another red flag for me. And uh, I do apologize for the video quality here on this. I will add this um, as a addition to the video here that you can see it a lot more clearly who these people are, what's going on, you know. But as far as I can see with this project Lord Society here, it is a future rug pull. It is a scam just based on all the evidence that I've gathered, all the research that I've done, same website, scammy Twitter page, same creators of the registered domain and same exact roadmap, no information on the founders. Those are all red flags that you should be aware of when looking at any NFT projects, especially one that has already been rug pulled that's already been a scam that's happened and the creators the founders you know they're just moving on and trying to do it again so i'm just creating this as a warning for anybody new to the nft space or anybody that's been involved with it for a while now watch out for this project i would be very wary of getting involved with this project at all um so that that's just my opinion but from somebody that's followed the owners of this project in another project where they did scam people and they did rug pull people you know that that's just uh you know it's it's pretty scummy actually you know nft scum of the earth right there so that that's all i'll say about it you can make your own decision but all those red flags just add up to a scam, in my opinion. So be careful. Watch out of this project. I'll be uh, posting this to try to get everybody's attention on this. And we can kind of spread this and make sure that we can save the community by doing this. All right. So the whole NFT community as a whole, we all need to band together because it is unregulated. It's unchecked. So we kind of have to create our own thing and watch out for each other. So that's all I'll say. I hope you guys had a happy New Year's. And until next time, peace.